sent me this base envelope builder and I do declare that it is very cool. It's got a really cool finger sensitivity. I've set it up so that uh, it's exactly the way that I like it. But it's funny because I actually have a Dunlop bass wall, as you can see, sitting right next to it on my foot here. And uh, I can get this kind of action out of that. But that's a slight, first of all, you have to use your foot. And I'm like, I don't think that's using my foot. But there's some times where I really just want to kind of dig in with my fingers and not have to worry about my foot. And this thing does a great job of, uh, of simulating that effect and actually has a little bit more dynamic range, I'm noticing, than the, uh, than the bass wah. <laughs> feeding it right now without the overdrive. <laughs> so if I take the sensitivity down See, it just flattens it out. There's not as much of the uh, actual finger sensitivity. That the effect doesn't engage as soon. That wider, not quite as much, and then I just touch it and it goes all the way open. The uh, the Q determines how how wide the wow is, for lack of a better technical term. So here that's very mellow, a little more of a wow. Now it's really barking there. Versus. All right. So I like to set it right there. And then you have the ability to set the dry and the effects levels. As you can hear, that's only effect. All right. So you got just the effect there. And then, and then if you want to get a little bit more clean level, even more than unity. If you want boost, you just hit more dry in there, and it acts as a kind of boost. Uh, but, you know, uh, in the end of the day, really, I find that when I'm dealing with envelope filters and stuff like that, there's one setting I want to have. I want to kind of kick it in. I know it's going to perform the wow wow thing for me, and that, those are the settings that, that I found that are really cool. So. 